said it's been the under sixes down in South Auckland. They've had about four or five weeks now um, playing with the new format under the new rules and great exercise from today to come on Mount Smart and uh, show the, showcase the talents. Yeah, we caught up with a few of the coaches yesterday who came in to get their tickets and uh, the overriding message was uh, the kids are pumped. Uh, they can't wait to, uh, to get out and have a run. I know one dad was even a little envious. He never got to play on the number one ground here at Mount Smart. Uh, but the kids having a great time out there. So Andy, you've uh, you've mentioned obviously that there is the pilot uh, with the different rules. Just talk us through um, so some of those little changes there and the purpose behind it. Yeah, so what we've done, we've gone right back to the under sixes and you can see the fields and 40 metres by 20 metres. So the, we've shortened the uh, pitch size and we've made it a little bit smaller for these you know, young kids who are not very big themselves and trying to get hold of a ball and trying to run around and tackle. So we've made the pitch size a little bit smaller for them. Uh, we've um, put the number of players per team down to six. It used to be eight, so we've dropped it down to six. But we've uh, increased the tackle count from four to six tackles, you know, to stay in line with the rest of rugby league. Uh, so we've introduced the six tackle rule into this now. And the six players on the field, the theory behind it all is that every kid gets an opportunity to get a, to get a ball, to get a tackle. They have more touches of the ball. Uh, there's plenty of space out there for them to run into. But because there's only six on the field, uh, as you can see on the screen now, they all hang around the ball. They're jumping up and down. No one's really taking any notice of anyone. Well, <laughs> the, the young kids at the end of the day, but we're giving them an opportunity uh, to play the game, to get their hands on, on the ball, to, to do the play the ball, to, to pass, to catch, to run, to score. Every action, what you see in rugby league, just breaking it down into a smaller group so it's easier for them to, uh, to comprehend. And one thing I really love about this is the fact that uh, kids are getting more touches on the ball, as you've mentioned, um, but also kids don't play Saturday sport to spend time standing on the sideline. They want to be in there and involved. Uh, so that's a real crucial part of this, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. We've got the six players in each team, and we went round to all the clubs earlier in the year, uh, spoke to the matches, uh, match managers, the coaches, the, the, the team managers, and, and asked them if, you know, if they've got 12 players, if they've got 18 players, just, just put two teams in, put three teams in. Mm -hmm. As long as you've got six players in that team, you don't really need subs at this age group. We're happy for them to uh, to put more teams in and get more players playing the game. Uh, as, you, as you're watching now, you can see that if they make an error, if they make a mistake, if they run into touch, if they drop the ball, if they don't play, play it properly, that's just a tackle. So we count that as a tackle. Uh, so if it was tackle three and they've run into touch, we bring them back in. We give them tackle three, play there, and they come back in and play the ball. So they're learning and they're grasping the rules, mm -hmm. but we're not penalising them for getting things wrong. So we're trying to increase, you know, the opportunities for kids to have a run, play with the ball, without really punishing them for making errors. And Andy, I know there's a coaching aspect to this as well. It's a it's a different way, I guess, to develop our next generation of coaches as we see some fantastic action on the screen there. So talk me through the, I guess, uh, changes from a coaching point of view. Yeah, it's a really tough age group to coach, you know. If you've ever got a group of six-year-olds together and tried to get them all to do the same thing, unless it's eat cake or blow out candles, it's pretty hard. So we've uh, we've tried to get the coaches and make it easier for them. Uh, as you can see on the screen, they're there, they're getting them back, they're getting them on side. And, and when you do see them, most of the time, all the kids are just grouping around them, uh, ask, looking to see what, what they should do next, hoping the coach will tell them. So we've tried to simplify the game uh, for the kids and for the coaches. And, and they're almost just coordinating the game while they're out there, helping the kids run the ball, making sure everybody's getting a touch of the ball. Just, you know, they're on-field coaches, basically. They're refereeing the game at the same time, but we, we, we hope uh, and we're trying to make it easier for coaches so that all kids come off the field, they've enjoyed it, they've had a touch of the ball, they've had a run, hopefully score a try and make some good tackles while they're playing the game. Great to see a spread of the clubs there. We can see some young Otahu Leopards there taking on some Mangan East Hawks. Tuakau Broncos as well represented out there today. So awesome to see the kids out there. And I tell you what, the uh, crowd reaction to the kids' games is rivaling the big game so far. The crowd getting right behind it as well. Well, Andy Hay, thank you very much for joining us. You're doing some great things this year in the coaching and development space, of course, with your work in schools as well through the Holiday Blast uh, programs, Game Changers and all these things aimed at, uh, I guess, exposing more kids to rugby league and improving the rugby league experience. So uh, keep up the good work, Andy, and thanks for joining us. Thanks, Corey. So we can see here now the young leopards on the park.
Great to see as well our volunteer coaches who do so much hard work out there with the kids, making sure it's a positive experience for them, directing things around. So this, a recap, the mini mod pilot, which has now been sent out into South Auckland clubs to run. So we're now going to leave you with the images of the kids' games for a few minutes' time and then back as we build towards the second half of Auckland versus the Tongat New Zealand residents and the Upright Access Man Cup.
Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. We are live from Mount Smart Stadium.